Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. And I thought I'd go uh, talk to you a little bit more about St. John the Divine's um, Revelation, chapters 2, 3, and 4. Just to let you know, chapters 2 and 3 are his, his messages that he channeled to the angels of the seven churches. And uh, they, they include just specific instructions for the members of each congregation. And so I won't go into those in detail. Then moving on to chapter 4, there's some very interesting information in here having to do with the vision that John the Divine had of God. And, um, and it goes like this. After this, I looked... And behold, a door was opened to heaven, and the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me. Now remember, uh, the trumpet is, is the sound that the heart makes when it's open. It's the sound of love. So this trumpet said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment. And they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass, like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. Okay, stopping here for a moment. To me, what that means, these four beasts round about the throne, full of eyes before and behind, I feel that that means that they were, um, they had the kind of awareness, the kind of vision and awareness that we as humans are, have a hard time uh, experiencing. In other words, they were very, very aware, right? Because they, they could see uh, with many eyes, many different things all at once. That's my idea. And so here another verse that's very um, significant to me. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast was like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. All right, now, suppose these four beasts round about the throne of God were, were attributes of God, expressed attributes of God, and remember, we were made in God's image, so they may be attributes of our own souls. Um, the first beast was like a lion. My guess is that is ferocious courage. And the second beast, like a calf, my guess is that is, um, uh, that is, that the calf can nourish us. And it, so it represents the quality that, that brings life and um, sustains life on earth, for instance. And the third, or, or sustains a cre creation, okay? So th the lion might, might actually be capable of destroying the creation, like in the Trimurti, in the uh, Hindu faith, and the calf would be the nurturer of creation. The third beast had to face as a man. Hmm. Huh. So, they say that we are made in God's image. What is it to have the face of a man? 
to be in creation, to be within creation and expressing God, perhaps. And the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. Well, that's vision, isn't it? High vision, the ability to see things from far off and stand, stand off and just observe creation. And so these are interesting qualities of God and qualities of, of humans as they progress in soul awareness, I feel. So to continue on with this very interesting passage, and the four beasts had each of them six wings about him. And they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. So these qualities of God, they, uh, they offer God uh, great praise. And these qualities of man, when man expresses them, they are there to praise God and to offer God um, uh, adulation day and night all the time. And to continue on. And when, th the, when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him who sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne, and worship him that liveth forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. So the purpose of creation is to, is to offer honor and glory to God, is it not? And so here we are, capable of fulfilling that purpose. And so, that's what I take here, is that, that John the Divine knew and understood and, and just felt in his heart the, the glory of God. And perhaps this is what is really meant by aligning with the will and, and mind and heart of God, is to become so aware of the wonder of, of all that that we're constantly praising his name. His John the Divine was really a very cool person, was he not? What a wonderful vision. So...